Following a review of the aftermath of this year's 420 event, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock banned the organizer of the event from hosting the annual gathering for three years. Citing noise complaints, lack of security, and delayed trash removal, the organizer is now responsible for close to $12,000 in fines and damages. Mike, seeing all the trash afterwards in that aftermath, uh, it wasn't surprising to see a fine. But a three-year ban seemed a little excessive. What did you think of what we saw handed down by Mayor Hancock? I think Mayor Hancock was probably reacting to uh, images in an event that, that frankly kind of shocks the conscience when you look at Civic Center Park in the aftermath of that and you go, really? I mean, is this, is this really what our parks are for? Even if they are public, even if they're open to the public uh, and to these events, you still, it's fine and dandy for the city to have some standards set down uh, with regard to what you leave behind. Uh, interesting enough, this is not the end of, of 420. It's the end of 420 for this particular organizer. Doesn't mean we won't see something else. Uh, I think that um, you're probably seeing a, uh, a reaction to a fairly visceral reaction uh, by the public to, to what they saw in the aftermath. By the way, the, it, just, it, it just seems a little bit strange as, a, as an aside. Uh, as you see what develops, what, what 420 looks like next year, it just seems a little bit strange that this still seems to be a protest rather than a celebration because, to be honest, these guys won and they continue to win. Uh, so I don't know why they're not celebrating rather than uh, trashing Civic Center Park. Penn, I saw more than one tweet uh, this week from an anti-pot activist claiming a victory. Look, we won. Look what Mayor Hancock did. Did Mayor Hancock cave to anti-pot activists? I don't think he did. I think, quite frankly, he and the city were mad at the mess that was made of Civic Center Park, and they decided to respond. Uh, it, it, this whole thing is odd. When, when you read the press accounts, one of the promoters of 420 said, you know, the, the city's just angry and they're trying to suppress the message. And I would flip that. My question to all of you would be, what is the message? You won. In Colorado, medicinal pot is there. Um, I hate the term recreational. I always call it personal use of marijuana is allowed. Uh, Denver is about to figure out how to allow smoking lounges. Um, so I don't know why you still do 420. And when I thought about it, I said, well, maybe it's like celebrating the 4th of July when America won its independence. But then everybody just kind of stays at home and barbecues or goes to a park. Y you don't have a mass mess to celebrate that. Uh, and so if there is a message to the 420 movement, it'd be a good idea to be clear and articulate it because I think a lot of people are missing the point because we think you won. Hans, what did you think of the city's response? I thought it was a bit of overkill, to be perfectly honest. I think there's a, an absolute subtext and absolute undercurrent of anti-legalization sentiment. I agree it was a bit of a fiasco, you know. I think maybe suspending uh, this particular organizer for a year, something like that, might be reasonable. But, you know, we use Civic Center Park for other events, and it gets trashed in other events. Cinco de Mayo, People's Fair, there's all sorts of other events. Not justifying that the fact that it wasn't cleaned up, but it does seem that there's so much, there's just such an undercurrent of this anti-legalization to the decision and sort of the people backing or praising the, the mayor that it caused me to be a little bit suspicious. I mean, we've benefited from the legalization of marijuana. Medical marijuana patients have benefited from medical use for many years. So it just seems there's a balance here and I don't think the mayor's office got it. Patty, the, uh, Rob Corey, a, uh, I think really has made, come to notoriety as a marijuana uh, attorney, has promised an appeal. Uh, talked to, he was the one uh, right in front saying this was overkill. Uh, how do you think the appeal will go, and what did you think of the city's response? Well, he's got 15 days to appeal, and Miguel Lopez is the original oh. uh, organizer who files for the permit and has for every year long before recreational mar marijuana or Penn's personal pot was legalized. So Penn's personal pot sounds like a really nice <laughs> advertisement. But, I'm yeah. just saying, Penn, if you needed a, I may a need to start thing. new business. <laughs> Sorry, it, Penn. Oh, we will. I've got that in mind. So. I think what will happen is some of the fine might be reduced. I don't think they're going to change their mind about Miguel or and the group that applies for it every year having a lock on it. I don't think that will happen. But I do think there will be a 420 event next year. I don't think the city would cancel that. There are going to be very strong stipulations on it. Um, but if you can have Cinco de Mayo and drink a lot of beer, I don't know why you can't have a celebration. And truly, you should recognize that it's it's really a commercial industry now in Colorado. So it's not just civil, it's not just your personal liberty, but it's a, it's a commercial 
enterprise just the way so many things are that are in Civic Center Park and will take over the park for a weekend. So I would say I'm challenging the Independence Institute to join me in filing for the 420. We can make it a real celebration and it'll be sponsored by Penn's personal pot use. It's going to be a great event and it'll behave itself very well.